Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today it is uh, June 2nd of 2018. It's uh, 4.30 a.m. in the morning. And this is going to be a short video. Uh, I made a video the other day. In fact, that's uh, it right here. Uh two days ago and it's got 47 views <laughs> so uh, I'm not smiling because that's good you know but that's normal for my videos and uh, it was about the Roseanne show and that entire situation and so I'm gonna say a little bit about that again and a little bit more and that's and that's it um, uh, I'm just going to assume that you watched that video the other day, so I'm not going to uh, go over everything again. I probably would get sidetracked. Um, but before I get into that, I wanted to tell you that I am using my 29-inch LG 4K monitor. And right now, I have one, well, one's a, a 4K, or not a, one's a uh, Roku TV on the floor. There's another one, two. There's a three monitors on the floor. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do it seems to me that the two monitors, that it slows down my uh, my computer. I'm not sure. Maybe it's uh, just got the Windows. Let's see. Windows. Uh, just got the update yesterday, and maybe. And it seems like. It's a little bit better. I'm not sure. So, um, let's see. View update history. Okay, I got yesterday, um, and it installed okay. I haven't had any problems. I am I think some people have reported problems with the installing of it. Uh, I have update. I have Windows 10 version 1803 now on my computer. Also, I am, for the first time, well, because I was having some problems, I'm actually trying to use Edge, and we'll see. It's, it's working okay for me right now, so I'm trying to use Edge. Uh, but I, as you can see, in the, I have Chrome installed, and I have uh, Firefox installed, and probably something else. So anyway, I have the uh, 4K monitor, but I'm using it in 1980 by 1020. Um, I can do some clicking and switch to 4K, and I have watched some <coughs> things in 4K. Uh, I am not impressed with 4K. Uh, really I thought I would be as you know that's why I wanted this monitor I think now what I should have got was uh, the 32 inch wide uh, extra wide monitor I think I'd have been better off getting that so there again I'm not sure what I'm going if I'm going to install I probably will. I switch around. Uh, also, I'm thinking about switching microphones, and I don't know why, because this works fine for me. Uh, but I'm thinking about that. I'm also thinking about hooking up, well, not this, the G7, Panasonic G7, into the computer 
and using it again. I've played with that a little bit. You might have seen a video or two where I was using that, but I didn't go into the full depth of, of uh, using it. So I'm thinking about uh, thinking about doing that. So let's get into uh, what the sort of an updating. Uh, ABC is considering a version of Roseanne without Roseanne Barr. Uh, I'm sure that she would get money from it, even though she wasn't on it. And so that might, uh, I think she'd like to see it come back, even if she wasn't on it. I think she'd like to see it come back. And I'm sure she would like the money that she would get. Uh, and um, I think it would be a bad idea because, and I feel sorry for the like 200 people, and especially, um, let's see, is there a picture of the cast and crew? No, I think they're, where did I see one? Here it is. I, uh, I mean, I just feel sorry for the crew and not just, you know, the people on screen, but the other people, the camera people, the audio people, and just everybody involved. I feel sorry for those people, but I think it would be a bad idea to bring it back because uh, Roseanne, Her show was number one on ABC, and and I think, uh, no doubt about it, they, it, it, it was way up there. Uh, very popular show, uh, going to make a lot of money. Forty million is, was it forty, forty million that I heard that that was already set to come in. And but what's going to happen is, I'm sure the right wing, the conservatives, the arch conservatives, the, you know, Republicans, they're not going to support it if she's removed. So you have a program, you know, this was uh, we're going to be very successful, was very successful for the first season and uh, she made her racist statements and she made, you know, ABC and Disney and everybody, everybody knew that she, because she has been forever. When she was a liberal, she was carrying on. And then when she became a conservative, she just carries on with what she, you know her rants and her raves and and every conspiracy theory she adopts you know uh, that's just and it and she wouldn't stop you know tweeting I mean I I would guess that ABC and her agency that dropped her uh, everyone I'm sure said you know Roseanne don't do you know don't say anything don't do anything and maybe she said oh I won't I don't know or maybe she said fuck you you know I'll do what I want but uh, with her being pulled out of it it was she got the support of the show would have been this comeback version version uh, what is it episode not episode, but uh, season 10, the new one, would have been successful, or it was successful. And it was successful because the, they, the right wing knew that uh, they just wanted to hear their views on there and it would have been successful because of them 
And then there were people like myself who liked the old Roseanne show and watched it for years. And so it was, you know, would have been successful. Uh, but now with her pulled, if they pull her out of it and make, the, I'm sure they own the name so they could continue it, but they'd probably change it to the Connors or who knows what. Uh, it wouldn't matter. But those right-wing extremists, conservative Republicans, they're going, they will boycott it now if she's pulled. If it comes back, they'll do everything in their power, just like for eight years the Republicans did everything in their power to make, uh, to destroy President Obama's eight years. The first they did everything in their power to make sure that he only got a, a, a term of one uh, and made it clear they were going to make sure he wasn't reelected. They were going to, and so with this now, those people, the right wing, they're not going to flock and support this. And in fact, they're going to, they would do what they could. They'd be encouraging people to not view it. And then the people like myself that uh, liked the old uh, nine seasons of Roseanne, I watched a few of these uh, and uh, they, I, I didn't really care for it that much. It didn't have anything to do with Roseanne uh, being a character in the season that, uh, or the show that was um, a conservative and uh, whatever. I mean, they, they threw that in there. It didn't, that wasn't the reason that I'm not really a fan of it anymore. Uh, now, the making of the grandson here uh, gay transsexual or uh, I don't know what he you know I don't know what he's supposed to be that's just and that's something for Roseanne something she wanted to do uh, up here uh, DJ when he was he was little back then uh, Roseanne apparently wanted to make him in the show be be gay, and I don't think she actually did it at the at the end. But uh, it's just it's not the old, you know. I want the uh, I want Darlene back as a little, you know, as a young girl, and uh, DJ back as I want the old, you know. So so. So I think it would be a big mistake if they bring back Roseanne without her. The right wing is not going to support it. They now have, by the way, they're going to have uh, the show. They were so happy that, that it was announced it coming back, uh, Last Man Standing, because the character in that is conservative and uh, I watched a few episodes of that, and I really forgot, you know, forgot to watch it. It really didn't matter to me. He plays a uh, conservative, you know, pro-gun person, uh, and I watched the show, and it was it was okay. I just sort of really forgot to uh, watch the show. Uh, I think it was a show that show was well done. And uh, and they took it off, and the Repu the the right wing was really mad about it being taken off, and then they were really happy, you know. They it was uh, added back, and they saw that as a victory, and so they'll be over there watching and supporting that. I from what I little I saw of the last man standing. Uh, it just had a, 
character a star who was, you know, the main character who was a uh, right wing, you know, gun enthusiast and all those things and, and made comments or whatever. And that was okay. I mean, okay, you can decide, you know, and I'd be happy to watch it. I'm not, if, uh, now I guess they could go too far. I mean, at some point if they're, if the show isn't entertaining and well-written and well acted and that type of stuff, I might say, Oh, you know, but, uh, I have no, I had no problem with that. But if they come back with a Roseanne show without her, the right wing will boycott the show. They'll do everything they can to make it a failure. And it will be a failure. Uh, cause uh, liberals are not going to watch the show uh, just to make it. They're not going to say, well, oh, Roseanne's not on it, and so we have to, you know, we have to make it a, a reverse boycott or whatever. We have to go and, and watch it and make it a success. They're not going to do it. You're just going to get the regular people. Oh, do I? I like the old Roseanne. Uh, do I like the uh, current one without her in it? And uh, the show will go down in flames. And then the Republicans, right-wing rep Republicans, are going to take a victory lap. They're going to tell other, you know, uh, shows or whatever, you better have conservative material. You better bow down and uh, worship, you know, uh, Donald Trump, if you don't, we will smash you like we smashed the, like we punished ABC and Disney and whatever. So uh, if I was, I feel sorry for the, the people, uh, the 200 plus, and I'm sure there's more people, you know, than at uh, vendors that, I don't know, pick up the, <laughs> you know, the laundry or uh deliver food. I'm sure there's other people involved, but uh, why set yourself up as ABC and Disney to for from now, from when that happened, which I'm sure it would happen, you'd have right-wing conservatives on their sites and everything saying, you know, we we punished ABC News. We cost them $40 million. They had to cancel. You know, Roseanne show was a major success all because of us. And then they removed Roseanne. And, you know, and then once the show collapsed, you would have Roseanne, of course, you know, tweeting her craziness. And she would be bringing, you know, bringing that up to... So if I was ABC and Disney, I would just say goodbye, you know, to the uh, to the show and to the you know to the money. Uh, they'll. This is not a good decision to bring the show back. There again. By the way, in case you don't know. Uh, Darlene here. I forget her name. I think her name is Barr. I can't remember her name, her real name. She's the executive, or was the executive producer of this show. Bringing the show back, really, she worked to do that. She was instrumental in bringing it back. She, um, pretty remarkable person. Uh, very, you know, very smart, if, which is interesting if you watch the show, if you're a fan of the old show, uh, because of the part she played. And she's very intelligent. I think she graduated Yale. Um, she's written some shows. Uh, she's uh, She has a daytime talk show. I didn't know that she was the one who, I forget what it's called. Um, 
anyway, she's on a daytime talk show, and I didn't know she was. She's the executive producer. She's the one who brought up the idea of it. She's the one who sold the idea uh, of her, the show. Uh, just uh, really remarkable that, I mean, a success story. And uh, so she'll go on to do other things, but it's too bad she, you know, got caught up, you know, got caught up in this situation. Uh, Roseanne, I feel sorry for her, although it's difficult. She undoubtedly has mental problems. She has psychological problems. She... Uh, She had a hard life in the beginning. If you've watched uh, any bit of her story or heard her talk about her life in the past, she's, she had a bad, she uh, did stand-up comic, uh, comedy or whatever, and that, that's, that's a rough go. And, you know, she was a woman back, still a woman for now, uh, Back in the day when it was uh, difficult for comedians and doing stand-up comedy, but extra, extra difficult for a woman to do, and she eventually became successful at that. But uh, because of her psychological makeup or whatever, she has latched on every... Uh, uh, I don't know if she believes that this uh, landing on the moon was faked or not. That's one that, but she and I'm not sure about that. But she she embraces every one of the bizarre, crazy things that 9/11 was done by. I don't know who she blamed. You know, I I'm going into what I talked about the other day. So uh, it's too bad that. It's too bad that she wasn't able to, but she wasn't. To just sit back and not get on Twitter and not get on Facebook or anything and just sit back and enjoy the success of her, uh, of this show. It would have been so good for her, but she just, you know, can't do it. And I don't see any change, you know, coming up uh, if the if they bring back the show when it's probably when it's going, she'll be saying things she shouldn't be saying. Then as soon as it starts to fail, she would be saying, you know, that she told them so and and uh, so forth and so on and just. Uh, Too bad. Anyway, I, um, let's see, what have I got coming up? Um, I mentioned back in a, a video that I had a heart doctor appointment. That was about a couple weeks ago, I think, and I went over for that, and they had canceled it, and I'm not sure they contacted me. Doctor out of town or doctor had other so it's, uh, let's see, we are in January, February, March, April, May, June. We're in June, so it's going to be in July, my uh, one where I go in once a year to the hot, hot, hot dog doctor, to the heart doctor. And my... One of my daughters has moved into the same apartment complex that uh, I'm living in, and that's really great. Uh, she's next door. Um, so that's, you know, that's new to have her that close. But before she was just, and my grandson, uh, she was just uh, one, two, just three blocks away in another apartment complex, but now she's in this, in the same one. 
And last night they ordered, uh, her and my grandson, her son, ordered pizza and they brought over, you know, uh, pizza for us. And that's going to be happening, uh, probably be happening a lot. They order in a lot. And so it's just going to be, uh, she can help us out a little bit. Uh, my grown son lives with us and he helps out. I am uh, uh, just, my health has gone down. Uh, I can hardly walk down to the mailbox uh, in this apartment complex. I really can't, uh, my arthritis is so bad. Bending over to pick anything up off the floor, uh, plug something in is just painful and difficult. Um, so my son, of course, is here to help, but we'll have my daughter um, next door. Uh, my grandson will not be much help, but I guess he could be some, but he won't be much help because he is just, he works full time, of course. And, uh, but he's just into playing computer games and watching, you know, Netflix and movies and that type of stuff. And that's really what he's, all he's into. He, and of course my, of course my son is also in, uh, uh, very smart about computers. He has a, uh, two year degree in computers and electronics. And he's really good, but my grandson, who hasn't had any formal training in computers and whatever, he just is really sharp in that area. So it would be difficult to get him to take time away from uh, his game playing. But if uh, something comes up, in fact, uh, he told me I should uh, have gotten a 32 inch ultra wide monitor instead of the 4k he's the one that told me that uh, in order for uh, me to see 4k from Netflix that I had to have a chrome cast uh, device or I had to have had to use edge and something else so he's really good at it so he's uh, close by, but you'd think with uh, email and that type of stuff that I could get some help from him, but the only way to get help from him is probably to catch him as he's coming in or out of the apartment and say, ask him a question or something. So anyway, the next video, I wonder if I'll have a monitor side by side again going to depend on, like I said, this was just a little too slow using two monitors. So I need a more powerful computer is what I, what I need. So I guess that's going to be on my list of things to get at some point. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching very much. I appreciate it.